Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, welcome to Black Magic Now. I want to um, talk to you guys uh, about this uh, Innistrad. Um, pretty much, me, uh, there's a lot of good stuff with the, the new Innistrad. Um, I'm going to talk about what it like deck building right now. Uh, the most thing that I, I would like to see, let me get some of these cards in front of me. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, black. I like the little ghoul. Um, uh, pretty much the whole my whole idea, like when I when I um, play Innistrad, like uh, um, drafts or silts, what I like to do is uh, let me see if I can get my get a couple decks out. Cause like pretty much this deck that I built, I built a deck around um, pretty much. A lot of my draft decks are pretty much the same, so um, I usually go uh, this ghoul right here. As you can see, this guy right here, pretty good. Uh, two two one drop. It comes in play tapped. Uh, what else am I looking? At? I look at. I like the um, uh, invisible stalker. I like. I really. I love to play. This combo. Put that boom boom boom. And it's just like wow. Then you um first turn, you try to first you try to get this first turn. First turn them. Boom. Uh what else do I just do? Um pretty much I'll try to get this guy. Cause if you get him. You almost win the game, like you almost just win the game automatically. Because my whole idea, oh yeah. Also, the other guy is you, you get him, it's pretty much so that you get this guy with those other combos of those other guys. Um, and sometimes I, in a draft format, I try to put get like at least one or two of these. Because if you get two of these playing them. Um, Black blue is just that much easier, um, cause you're not really, cause you don't really have to worry about uh, you don't have to really worry about um, the colors that much, because uh, you know you'll have that out. If you get two or more of those, it's like wow, cause you can just like put it out, put another one out, and then do do whatever lane you want. Uh, let me see. Also, well, I like I got the, the dissipate. I don't have it in this deck though because I, I didn't put it in. But dissipate, like that's because I use I have mandolins in here now. But for the draft wise, dissipate is what, will be what you need. Dissipate. Um, also, you know, tormented soul. I put tormented souls in the deck afterwards. You know, but pretty much, you know, um, main card. Boom. My whole main idea is this card right here. You get this card. I mean, just think about it. It's like a lot of people are not playing flying anyway. They don't play flying like that. But boom. Yeah, so they take, they're taking seven damage. And ain't nothing they can do about it. And also, like, you could also... Um, this combo, just in case. If you don't have it, boom, you got, you got a 3-3 three, three coming that you, that you can't do nothing about. A 3-3 three, three that you ain't, it ain't nothing you can do. Straight to the nugget, what do you want to call it? Melon. Uh, also, you know, you could put it on the um, same thing. You know, combo, so I said, each card that I put in here is that you can put a combo on it. You go, boom, boom, flying. I'm going to have you about flying. And I, you know, I can regenerate it if I need to. <laughs> Actually, I won pretty good with a white deck the other day too. Um, I mean, my whole idea is like get a lot of one drops, yeah, a lot of one drops, a lot of um, two. You know, I mean, uh, you know, a lot of one drops, some two drops. And also some uh, some drops that are, you know, some decent drops. You want to get a cut. You want a couple of decent drops, 
and you want um, uh, um, mostly one drops and two droppers because you want to be like first turn drop, second turn drop, third turn drop, fourth turn the big guy, fifth turn another big guy, or or fourth turn a uh, mid guy and another guy, a mid guy and a then on when one drops, next turn a big guy. Or um, fifth turn, put the flying on it. Boom, big guy. Or I mean, it's, it's, it's a couple things you can do, man. Bumping the night on him. Yeah, bumping the night is amazing because you can like go bumping the night. I'm gonna um, you know, you're at six lot. Like the other day, I was playing a guy, and this is actually against a, a good deck. Like not even this ain't even stand. This ain't even draft or nothing. I actually pulled. Two bumping. I had one bumping the night in my hand. He was at six life, and I'm like, man, if I had, if I had something I could play on this guy, man. and then I pulled my, I pulled the the next one. I was like, wow, that was God t was telling me something. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, one of my decks. I'll actually um, let you guys know more about um, Innistrad. Uh, pretty much, it. let me know what you want to know about it. I've done. Um, Probably like 15, 16 drafts, uh, four or five um, sealed events so far. I've done very good, like very, very good. I've, I've done pretty good. I've even I've ran red with the um, the one drop and uh, pretty much turned it into a three three. Uh, took their card with that was a tre uh, treacherous. Um, what's called? Uh, I also um, hit him with the you know cursed heart too, curse of the pierced heart. I actually run curse of the pierced heart in my actual um, my uh, mono red deck. Oh, to me, I think the um, pierced heart is really good. Um, also, I played this this the, the geist flame, geist flame in draft and geist flame and um, uh, mono red also. Um, I mean sometimes it depends on the sideboard. Uh, where's it at? I actually have to look it up real quick, but um, I'll actually do my mono red next. I'm gonna do a little deck tech of my mono red and we'll do it. So, comment on this video, tell me what you wanted to know about Innistrad, and we'll get it going. Thank you guys.